Having that desire to want to be a firefighter was something that I always wanted to do. Um, I didn't start until I was 30 though, so it took me a little while to, to finally get up the, the courage to actually apply for to a department and join. Nobody in my family is from the fire or law enforcement services or EMS. Nobody was a nurse or a doctor or had any type of medical background at all whatsoever. Um, my dad was a truck driver and my mom worked um, putting computer boards together. I think it was just, it was in my personality to, to be in this line of work. My mom tells me when I was five, you know, a lot of kids want to be a firefighter, want to be a police officer, want to be certain things. And it just never wore off on me. Just a normal day at work and it was at my desk had the radio on and remember him hearing him saying something about a plane may have crashed into one of the buildings and didn't think much of it and then a little bit later they were talking about another plane that had crashed. He responded to an ambulance call that morning and I was with um, our now retired chief and we were on the ambulance and he had gotten a phone call. It was before we returned to the station that he responded to that phone call and said um, a plane just flew into the towers in New York City. It was a beautiful day, I remember that. It was, you know, bright, bright blue sky. Um, I'm also kind of a, a, a plane fanatic, uh, especially military planes, and I, I'll never forget, I could hear late in the afternoon uh, the sounds of a F-16 circling above me. That was surreal, uh, you know, I'll never forget how quiet it was that night. Um, and to hear the sounds of military aircraft patrolling our skies was, um, it, it was something. It was uh, something I'll never forget. I think it's something that's always in the back of my mind. Um, I know recently we've been been reading more stories about some of the first responders that are dying of cancer from that and so it's you, there's always stuff that that kind of comes up that makes me remember that day I don't think it deterred me from ever wanting to become a firefighter if anything it probably made me want to become one even more just just to see that there are people out there that were willing to risk their lives to save others um, I think it made me want to do it even more than than before that day it used to be, oh, oh, is the scene safe? And we always imagined the things we could see. Oh, there's a big fire. Okay, it's not safe. But what we didn't think about a lot then is the things we couldn't see. And we think about that now. I still love to help people. You know, events like 9-11 um, really didn't instill terror in me. It made me want to be able to help more. I worry all the time about my employees. Obviously what happened on September 11th was of a grand scale, but there are things that happen across this country every day and to the point now that some of them don't make the news, um, but they're, they're still happening. Um, and so it is very concerning to me. going into a situation they weren't really exactly sure what the situation was they weren't sure what the outcome was going to be but they went anyways because that was their job and that's what they were trained to do and you know even though I wasn't a firefighter at the time they were still my brothers and sisters and I, I just have the utmost respect for them for, for doing what they did on that day. It was more about the terror of the day and what was really happening and all the events that were happening that day and it was well after the fact for me that it really hit home how many people didn't go home from work that day. There were firefighters that knew, you know, based on the radio transmissions, they weren't coming back. Uh, they knew that, uh, but they did it anyway. I would thank them, you know, for what they did. And we don't think about it a whole lot because we all, it's what we do, you know. Um, but it is at great risk. Mm -hmm.